Hi everybody, this is Michael Buffer and let's get ready for Hoop Jab. Now, last before I let you go, I know you train with Miguel Cotto. He's gearing up to fight Canelo at the end of the year. What do you think about that matchup? Hey, Cotto resurrected, man, since he got with Freddie. We know that. Canelo resurrected, man, after uh, Floyd put it on him and took him to school. They both are peaking, man. It's weird because the obvious age difference. But you can certainly see that they're both on top of their game right now. Canelo's just a big old natural dude, like a natural fighter. It's a lot of dude to deal with if you're Cotto, but that left to the body. <laughs> yeah. Hit him, hit him right there. So that's going to be a great, exciting fight. Something is telling me to go with Canelo in this one, even though my rooting interest is with, with, with Cotto. Probably the youth. He got the youth advantage. Say it again. He has the youth advantage by a lot. Oh, yeah, by big time. I mean, look, he, he's coming. He's next. We had Triple G on our show today, Sports Nation. Check it out. And, uh, he was saying his next big fight, hopefully, is between the winner of that fight. He doesn't think Mayweather will fight him. I mean, how many divisions does Mayweather need to move up, even though he's fought at 154 before? He has to move up, too, but I want to see Triple G move up one to fight Andre Ward. Woo, how about that? Yeah, and we brought that up to him, too. He was like, he'll fight Andre Ward, but he wants him to get all his business affairs in order. So I get that. You, you want to fight somebody who's going to be good in the ring, but also good outside the ring for your, your cachet and your money and your opportunities, so I get it. Thanks a lot, Marcel, so I appreciate it. Every day, every day. Hoop jab, baby, Thanks. you know.